Don't be a Dave, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm your lawyer, Patrick McGeehan. I'm your best friend at your worst time. Welcome to The Law of Life, where I bring you news and information from around Florida and around the country concerning the legal system. Uh, here, Here's a Dave. Don't be a Dave, because people like Dave pay people like me a lot of money because people like Dave can't control themselves and control their emotions, and it becomes very expensive. So I'm bringing you a case. It was from a couple weeks ago in Clearwater, Florida. Dave pictured here got upset because the grass man was parked his trailer partially blocking his driveway and Dave just went ballistic and let's take a look at the video here. This is my property. You are not allowed to block my driveway. A tense argument over a parking space. You think I'm playing? Yeah. And Clearwater police say this man, David Barry, brought a rifle to the argument. This is my property. I'd have shot you dead and you would have went to jail. This is a city property out here. No, it's not, brother. Jeremy Lee is the other voice you hear. His daughter behind the camera. It was scary because she was there. Mercy got the rifle after Lee threatened him. Clearwater's police chief said his department is investigating what happened. He said in a statement, quote, the bottom line is a dispute over parking should never have escalated to something like this. If you have a problem with someone partially blocking the driveway, you call police. You don't grab a gun like some vigilante. Okay, so where did all this foolishness get Dave? Well, it got Dave in a little bit of trouble. See, the police responded. They didn't do anything at the time. They didn't make an arrest at the time. This video went out on social media it was posted by the landscaper's daughter and it went viral and of course it got back to the community and it got back to the clearwater police chief who says oh crap now we have to do something so they asked the clearwater police chief what about it? your officers went out to the scene what happened and the clearwater police chief of course made his statement and he further says to other news outlets uh, that they're referring the case to the state attorney's office for felony charges. So why are they doing that? In my experience as a police officer, they refer cases or punt cases to the state attorney for one of two reasons. It's number one, they don't know what to do. Or it's number two, they don't want to make the decision they want to pawn it off on a state attorney. Now, Florida does have a brandishing statute when it comes to weapons, and I'll pull it up here. The Florida Brandishing Statute is under Statute 790.10, Improper Exhibition of Dangerous Weapons or Firearms, and it reads in pertinent part or it reads in full, if any person having or carrying any dirk, sword, sword cane, firearm, electric weapon, or device, or any other weapon shall, in the presence of another of one or more persons, exhibit the same in a rude, careless, angry, threatening manner not necessarily in self-defense the person shall be guilty of a misdemeanor of the first degree punishable as provided in and then it lists the punishment statutes and this is also a very good statute to exemplify what happens when lawyers write statutes i mean it that statute that statute's a complete run-on sentence and it could have be, been a lot easier written in plain english for the average person so who is Dave? Well, Dave is Dave Barry. He's 44 years old. He lives in Clearwater, and he's the owner of Fat Finger Construction. So Dave didn't get arrested at the time, but he may get arrested later when the state attorney makes a decision on what to do. Oh, and if you're wondering in a statute, what is a dirk? Because dirks come up in Florida statutes all the time, and this is a dirk. It's a short dagger that's used specific, specifically for stabbing. Uh, it was developed by the Scots way back when the the Irish adopted it, and I only know that because uh, I am Irish, and I have a dirk myself. But anyway, so that's what a dirk is. Everybody asks, "What's a dirk?" I haven't seen. I've never seen anybody arrested for for possession of a dirk or carrying a dirk or anything like. I don't think I've ever seen anybody carrying a dirk. Anyway, to get back to the statute at hand, or to get back to the case at hand. Uh, Dave, Dave got himself in a heap of trouble regardless, because you know that now he's a popular guy. I'm sure his business is going to suffer, and he's got the weight of the government resting on his shoulders. But that's not all. Dave, a week later, which was last week on the 27th of July, 
the cops come out and red flag him. They bang him with a red flag law and confiscate all of his firearms. They said it was not based only on this altercation, but they tried to go out and serve him with a subpoena and something else happened that gave him the information they needed to red flag him. So they filed the red flag, which in Florida we call it a risk protection order, and they confiscated all of his firearms. And I did a docket search for old Dave, and it came up. Here is his docket. It's in the beginning stages. He's got a final hearing set per the statute. A temporary risk protection order was entered. He's already hired his lawyers, Quinteros, Prieto, Wood, and Boyer. They're a very big law firm. They represent people all over the state, and I'm sure he's paying them a whole lot of money. So what's what's the point of this whole thing? If you have a if you have problems controlling your anger or your emotions, you probably should not be carrying around firearms. There's you know there's an issue in this particular case, and I'm sure this is what the police were bringing up. Is although Dave went and got his gun, Dave remained on his property. You can't open carry a firearm on your property, so that's where their prob probable you know, insecurity came in. But if you have a problem maintaining your emotions, controlling your anger, you probably should not be messing with guns. Just leave them locked in the safe where you can't get to them when you're in that state, or maybe maybe you shouldn't even own them at all. And that is what has come down to with Dave, because Dave now has a red flag uh, order against him, and he cannot own guns, buy guns, or possess guns until a judge makes a determination of whether he's a danger to himself or others. So don't be like Dave. Don't get yourself in a lot of unnecessary trouble that can be avoided. Avoid these situations, de-escalation. Uh, you know, if you have a problem with parking, as the chief said, call the police. Let them deal with it. You know, they'll tell the guy to move the trailer. But don't get into it on your own because things can turn sour very quickly. Anytime there's a gun involved, it's an armed confrontation, confrontation, no matter who has the gun, and things can always go bad. There's always a potential for a deadly outcome, and a lot of people get shot and killed for foolish reasons. Don't be one of them. Until next time, we'll see you on the Law and the Life. Have a great day. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe and share with your friends.